Hey everybody, at BV Matson here. Time to charge some new batteries. I got a couple bikes in the works. The CB350 needs a battery. I gave it away. Actually, I sold it to a fellow wrencher. And also I need a six volt battery for the 125S because that ended up in the CB100. So I went out and uh, picked up the proper batteries. There's the battery for the CB350. And here's the battery, six volt, remember that for the 125S, got myself some battery acid. You're also going to want some baking soda, some distilled water, and some chargers, okay? I've got two chargers that are automatic. Um, they detect six volt or 12 volt, and they're trickle chargers, and they work great for charging up these brand new batteries because the batteries themselves, <laughs> if I can get it out of the box, don't come filled. So we gotta fill these up and get them charged so we can get to putting bikes together. All right, for today's video, we're gonna look at the six volt because I actually need this one first. Um, so let's go ahead and take this out of this box. Look at this little cute little bugger. Um, what brand was this? Parts Unlimited. It's got the 6N6-3B, but here's kind of the process and it's gonna be pretty much the same. Of course, you always wanna read the directions that come along with your battery. But uh, first thing you wanna do is kind of remove this sticker. Read the sticker, because it's basically telling you to remove this little plug right here. There's a little plug over the, the breather. Let's pull that off, don't need that. Um, then we need to go ahead and re remove this sticker, just like that. All right, with the sticker removed, we can go ahead and take out the three plugs on the top, all right? Just pull these out just a little bit. Sometimes it might be a flathead screwdriver, but these shouldn't be in there very tight. Oh, these actually just pull out. These don't screw out at all. These are just corked. So just like that, pull those out. Let's pull this one out. And there we go. There's our three plugs and our little six volt battery ready to go. And then this is where you want to start, uh, you know, being a little careful and paying attention of, of, as of, as well. So here's a lower level line and there's an upper level line. We're gonna be shooting to fill to the upper level, okay? And that's what we wanna be shooting for on this. And we wanna be pretty accurate. Uh, I wish they made batteries clear. It'd be so much easier to see the, the fluid actually going into these darn things. But again, we're shooting for the upper level. Time to get some PPE. You know, you don't wanna mess around with a battery acid, all right? So gloves for sure. And we're gonna be really careful and we're gonna go really slow. We don't wanna spill this stuff all over the place. Also some goggles or a shield is gonna be good too, just in case you get just a little bit of a, you know, little splashy splash going on here. Filled the battery last night, it charged up just great. And I just kind of crimped off the tube on the top of this. Again, when, you, when you're cutting this or you're opening up your, uh, your, your uh, pour spout, don't be pushing on the bottle, okay? That's something you do not want to do because it'll squirt out of here and you don't want acid going all over the place, okay? So be really careful with that. Now, again, good light, I think, is really, really important when trying to fill this stuff up. I'm gonna keep an eye on my fill level and uh, we are going to slowly, very, very slowly, again, don't worry about this big cap, okay? This is, um, we don't use this for fill, for transferring the fluid. We're gonna use this little flexible tube here for each one. We're gonna fill each one of these, one, two, three, very, very slowly up to the upper line. So, you know, you got your gloves, you got your mask, or not your mask, your uh, your uh, your uh, glasses. Um, get Have some Arm & Hammer, some baking soda, some distilled water hanging out, because if you do spill any acid anywhere, can neutralize that really quick with a little bit of baking soda. So I'm just gonna take my tube, put it into my first port, and very gently start to give this thing a little bit of a squeeze. And I can see, I can see that level coming up. I'm just really gently squeezing and putting some fluid into this. I can already hear it already starting to kind of react. Just want to go slow. You definitely don't want to overfill. There we go, I can start seeing it on the line. Here, I'm gonna hold up one second. 
use suction to your advantage a little bit. I'm gonna give you a better look at the line level. And I hope you can see that fluid's gonna start coming up a little bit. And right there, that is perfect. Once you get that, oh yeah, you can see that on camera pretty good. We're gonna move over to the next one. This one's kind of hard to see because there's all that print on the battery, but there you can see it coming up. I'm gonna slow down. Gotta get that up to the upper level. There we go. Again, just let that suction pull that stuff back in to that bottle. All right, so I've got upper, uh, that one sunk down a little bit. I'll have to fill that one back up just a hair. I'm gonna go ahead and dump this one in. Going to the upper level. That's about right. Let that suck out. All right, now we're taking a close look here. This first one's good. These two are still a little bit low. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill these up a little bit more. There we go. There, that one's good. And now this one is just a little bit light. I haven't spilled a drop yet. There we go. I think we got it. So there we go. Perfect. That's really what you're going for up on that upper level on all three of those chambers. Again, don't go fast, go slow with this stuff. One quick little tip, man, if you do end up overfilling, I overfilled my second chamber just a little bit. Just squeeze, like take the bottle, squeeze it just a little bit, make sure you're not spraying it out. But you can use this as a little bit of a suction to pull out some of that battery acid. So it's right where it needs to be. Need to add just a little bit more to this front one. And this will be good to go, I think. Boom, there we go. Just wanted to show you that because I didn't overfill on that other video. But uh, right now we're good to go to get this uh, 350 battery on the charger too. Just wanted to show you that. Now, inside of your box, there should be a little breather tube, okay? Let's grab that breather tube out of the box. And let's get that attached right here. That's where that little plug was. Let's push this on. Just like that. There's our breather tube. And now what we can do is put our plugs back in. So here's our plugs. Put one in. Push that in. You can already hear it kind of reacting in there. It's pretty cool. Push that in there. And we're gonna push that in there. So we got our three plugs and our breather tube ready to go. And we are on our max fill line or our upper level line. Go ahead and get this all cleaned up, put this acid someplace safe. Uh, Cause I got another battery to do here in just a sec. All right, just doing a quick little check here. Make sure I don't have any like acid. I didn't spill really a drop. Well, there might be a little bit there. If you do see a little bit of acid, just grab your baking soda. Might react. It didn't really react, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, but you can just kind of get rid of it. A little bit of water, a little bit of baking soda. That can neutralize any of that acid that you may or may not have spilt. But we're ready to go to charging. I tell you, I really, really like these. I have one for every one of my bikes. It's kind of a kind of a moment. You know, it's like you get your own charger. You're ready for your own maintainer. And this is nice because it's a 6 and a 12 volt, so it automatically detects. And, you know, by tomorrow, that battery should be charged up and ready to go. So here's what the unit looks like. Very straightforward, very, very simple, completely automatic. Just plug and play, and it's ready to go. Got some power. I'm going to find my lead. And for charging, I'm just going to use, um, you know, these little clamps for now. Look for your uh, positive and your negative leads. I got positive here on the right. 
Go ahead and clip that on. And we'll go ahead and clip that on. And we're going to get this plugged into here. Just like that. And hopefully on this thing, we're going to see an orange light pop on here as soon as I get it plugged into power. All right, moment of truth. Let's see what happens. Treasure's popping on. And we've got an orange light. That's what we want. That's going to just sit here, trickle charge. And uh, again, by tomorrow, <clears throat> that battery is going to be ready to rock and roll in the 125S. Really, really, really straightforward stuff. Charge, baby, charge. That little six volt's going to be ready to go tomorrow and ready to go in the CL125S. More work to do. Lots of work to do. But uh, we are making progress. Isn't this a beautiful bike? I hope you enjoyed the video. You can fill your own batteries. It's all good. It's, uh, you know, not too scary. Just got to be careful. Can't stop looking at this bike. It looks good. <laughs> Guys, if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Visit KeepOnWrenching.com. Request your free sticker. And, uh, you know, pay attention. <laughs> more videos, more live streams are on the way. So a um, lot of work to do. It's summer. Let's get at it.